broadcast. Okay. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey, everybody. This is Ken Krell. You are in for a fantastic treat today. Happy October 20th. We're going to start uh, formally in just a second or two. But I want to make sure you guys can hear me okay. So if you can, just pop in the chat and tell me that you can hear me and where you are dialing in from today. Because Yoon was asking me, where's everybody coming from? And I'm like, I don't know. So um, if you could... Um, Siraki's in from Brizzy. Wow, for you from Brisbane. That's what time is it there right now? It should be super early for you, I think, Raggy, shouldn't it? Mr. Jones, good to see you, sir, from Virginia. Far out. Excellent. Um, I'm seeing a lot of names, by the way, that I'm not used to seeing. Um, some new names for me. Um, so uh, six in the morning. Well, great. Thanks, Rocky. Um, Dean came in from Brooklyn. Yay. Um, yeah, we normally don't run events at this time of day. Uh, for a variety of reasons. The first is which is that when I'm home in Bangkok, uh, it would be either three or four o'clock in the morning. And as much as I love you guys, um, I love my sleep a little bit more than that because it destroys the day. One o'clock in the afternoon in Vancouver. Hey, that's Joe. I'm glad to see you here, Ms. Johnson. Um, so yeah, so um, this has been an experiment for us as to how it works. I don't like to inconvenience my folks that are over in, in Australia. Uh, but while I'm here in the States, it's been, it's been a kind of an interesting test. And it also does serve our people in Europe uh, who end up getting super inconvenienced when I'm back in Thailand. Unfortunately, those are the ones that, that are, are most, uh, most inconvenienced, and I hate to do that to them. Uh, but we seem to have a much bigger audience in Australia than we do in Europe right now for, for whatever reason. So about the rest of you guys, you can hear me okay? You're, where, else are, where else are you guys coming in? Who's coming from, from an a more exotic place than uh, than Australia, or or better yet, who co who's coming from what they think may be the most boring place? We can do that. We can have a competition. Now, mind you, I just came from a uh, an event in um, in Minneapolis just yesterday, and uh, they did the competition, and I think I won furthest distance coming in from Bangkok. Uh, I like winning that, but the Australians usually beat me, so um, I'm, I'm glad I I'm glad I won that one. So okay, so looks looks we got everybody here. Um, we're going we're to count down to, uh, to, to three in just a second or so, so we can get a clean recording, but I want to just, just give you a quick, a quick, um, little bit of background. Uh, and that is, uh, the normal instructions. The next hour is going to be jam packed with stuff. You, uh, does not waste words. Uh, this will be a, a shorter, uh, training than you're used to experiencing with us. Um, and I want you to, to just clear the decks of what might be distracting you, uh, because you, you're going to be taking a lot of notes. I promise you, you'll be taking a lot of notes. This lady knows her stuff. So, uh, cell phones or whatever would be disturbing you, throw it in the silent or airplane mode. Um, turn your Skype on to do not disturb as I've just done with mine and, uh, and get ready because you're in for a super treat. So with that said, let me count down to three. So we have a good place to start. Uh, and, uh, you are now hearing my friend's oh, dog right. celebrating the beginning of this. This is great. <laughs> you know it's live now, right? <laughs> so here we go. I'll count it down. Three, two. Well, hey, everybody. This is Ken Krell. Welcome to today's live web workshop presentation. Uh, you're seeing on your screen a picture of my friend Yoon Cannon, who is just amazing at what she does in terms of growing people's businesses uh, from a coaching platform. And I had the pleasure of, of listening to her on a Mixergy course, uh, well, I guess now a little bit over almost two months ago now, when I was in uh, in Portugal, and I was walking to the gym with with you in my head in my headphones, and she was talking about her strategies to use LinkedIn to build businesses both for her and for her clients, and I, you know, I did a course on LinkedIn a number of years ago, and so I consider myself pretty familiar with the platform, even though I don't use it as much as I should. Uh, but as, you know, as I'm listening to her thinking, well, I know that, I know that, I realized, wait a minute, Ken, but you don't know that, you don't know that, you don't know that, oh my God. And so as I'm walking down down the street on the way to the gym, I'm, I, I can keep having to stop to like take notes. I ended up having to actually listen to it again, Yoon, because I needed to make sure I got everything. I, at which point I realized, you know what, this is something that every one of you needs to be hearing. So um, I got her on the phone. And she called me back at the grocery store when I was here in the U.S. So we had a we had a, um, a very long conversation in the produce aisle of the local Publix. If any of you know <laughs> know the grocery store, and now we're here today. Um, Yoon is just a master at at tapping the resources within LinkedIn. And if you're not familiar with the platform, she'll give you a bit more background on why you want to be using LinkedIn. But I'm going to tell you before before she gets on with us that it 
is a better platform with more targeted people in so many ways more than Facebook is. And Facebook's fantastic, but LinkedIn has people that from a demographic have more money and uh, are far more qualified, especially if you want to sell high-end coaching products or high-end anything for that matter. And if you're thinking, but wait a minute, it's all business to business and it's not for me, remember that people run business and everyone that 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 is a business owner still has to go to the grocery store still has problems with with mice in the you know in in, in the winter time or whatever you know whatever it is they are still human and so every offer that you can make every every opportunity that you have to serve an audience can still be served with people on that platform so um, you're in the right place i'm thrilled to pieces that you're here and um, are you ready are you ready to play yoon I am, Ken. I'm absolutely ready to go. Then, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my friend and your new friend, Professor Yoon Cannon. Woohoo! <laughs> well, Ken, that's the very first time of anybody's ever referred to me as a professor. So, but I'll, I'll take it for sure. So that was. Uh, I have to laugh too at how you uh, shared how we had our first conversation. Uh, with you and the produce aisle, so that's I think that that's a hoot. <laughs> well, um, well, so you know anybody can be formal, and that's that's such an important thing. And you know, and you, the backstory, of course, is that we went on to to uh, record a podcast uh, just a, a little bit ago. So you'll be seeing you'll be seeing that once we launch the Awesome Cast. Uh, but Yoon has Yoon's just she's fun, and you'll experience that in, in a bit. And and the thing is that as you jump into this, if, if you're not making business fun, you're losing money because people want to have a better experience. So anyway, take it away, kiddo. Absolutely. Well, I'm here to serve you all today, uh, and I want you all to get the very most out of today's session. Uh, so you can take some actionable strategies back to your business and be able to implement what you've learned you know, right away. So uh, I would like to invite your response and your engagement be just to give me a read on uh, where you're at in your business and what would be really some core takeaways for you. So uh, how many of you are using LinkedIn right now mainly to accept new requests? So give me a, give me a sense of how far along you already are right now on LinkedIn. So if you could type that into the chat box, I'd love to, I'd love to see where you're at currently on LinkedIn. So how many of you are using LinkedIn right now mainly to accept connection requests? Uh, if that's a no, type that in. If it's a yes, type that in. And here's another question for everybody. How many of you would commit 30 minutes a day to a marketing strategy if you knew it would work to generate new leads and new clients. Can you give it 20, 30 minutes a day? All right, so if, if that's the benchmark that you could commit to, then you're in the right place with these strategies. And here's another one you really want to think about. How many of you would rather new clients chase you instead of you having to chase and solicit prospects? That's what excited. Are you in? Me. That's what excited me. Yeah. Everyone is like, yes. They're all saying, yeah. I mean, wow. You guys are absolutely. Playing. So you this is this is what shifts. You know, this is what shifts for you when you learn how to leverage LinkedIn uh, in a way that clients are coming to you. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that today. So in today's webinar, uh, you're going to learn how to use LinkedIn in less than 30 minutes a day to attract more clients to grow your business. I'm going to show you a process to help you get known as the expert in your field and and that's what LinkedIn is so great uh, to be able to help you do that uh, so there's five core things we're going to cover today number one why LinkedIn works actually even better than your website and I, I know that's a pretty brave statement to say uh, but I'm going to show you how th those are different okay and how LinkedIn can actually work better for for you to get known as the go-to expert and, and this is really the key in having people come to you Okay. The second thing we're going to talk about is why do other people go on LinkedIn? And I'm going to also show you the three minute market test. So if you're not really doing a lot on LinkedIn, usually people want to know, well, is LinkedIn the right social media platform for my business? You know, there's so many different options out there. And I'm going to show you a quick three minute test you can do to, to really see, you know, how many of your people are on LinkedIn. Now, the third thing, I'm going to share with you a secret tool to help you opt so you get found by high paying clients. Now, I'm just curious, you know, how many of you uh, already have a LinkedIn profile? If you can type that into the chat box. 
All right, good to see. So some of you are saying, yes, I do, and uh, so some people are saying you've had it for 10 years and nothing, haven't done anything with it, so that's okay. I'm going to show you how this is one area where you actually can get instant results, and this is pretty cool, so I'm going to show that to you. Um, the other thing we're going to cover is we're going to cover um, what happened to my slide changing. There we go. We're also going to be able to cover the mindset behind monetizing your time on LinkedIn because I know we're all you know short on time and I'm going to show you how you can apply three core foundations of consumer behavior so you know LinkedIn like any other social media doesn't become a time suck and you're really leveraging your time and the fifth thing is I'm going to show you how you can feel confident and ready to attract more clients and close more sales using what I've created as the six-figure LinkedIn secrets formula and you can just rinse and repeat this formula for your business. So um, you are in good hands today and to tell you a little bit about myself uh, as I'm walking you through this. First of all, I started teaching LinkedIn once I saw that LinkedIn alone was generating six figures in new revenue for just my little solo coaching practice right and that's what got my attention and what's unique about the way I teach it is I, I try to learn LinkedIn from a, a number of other people that really just wasn't manageable for me and uh, I mean Ken I was going out you know trying to implement these ideas that I've heard here and there and, and it was taking like 10 and 15 and 20 hours a week and I just thought that's insane I can't you know juggle my clients and that that's just too much so I've really tested and honed a lot of strategies and kind of cut the fat and and said you know what here's the core things that really work so I'm gonna teach you some of that today now I am a business coach so I help entrepreneurs uh, mostly I help entrepreneurs create thriving six seven and eight-figure businesses and I come from a, an entrepreneur background so this is my world and since 1992 I've started turnkey and sold three other businesses um, so I'm, I'm not new to the you know rodeo show as they say and uh, you can see some of my articles featured in CNN entrepreneur money and some of the other uh, major media so that's just a quick little background on me and by the way I reside I'm from outside Philadelphia and it's a beautiful weather fall weather out here I, I saw some of you are from really all over the world it's pretty cool uh, but that's where that's where I'm speaking to you today from okay um, so here's another question I'd love to, to hear back from the attendees here is type into the chat box you know how many of you have ever felt constrained in your business by time and money has that ever happened to you so oh type God. in yes <laughs> is, that a, is, is that a challenge for you okay oh my god <laughs> because I, I want you to know what what figuring this out can mean for you is learning how to leverage LinkedIn can solve that time and money challenge because I got to tell you that's exactly how I ended up um, learning how to crack the code because I too was in that time and money challenge and so just a quick story I mean it, back in 2006 I sold my last business I decided I was gonna you know wanted to be home full-time because my kids at the time were really little and I wanted to be there before they go to school uh, or they were school age rather and unfortunately at that time after I already sold my businesses you know my husband had lost his job and so that was a, a scary time when you know all this fear starts bubbling up when you're going oh my gosh you know we're going from both of us uh, having a career to neither of us working and, and that was a scary time and so this is how I found LinkedIn I was I was cautious on not wanting to spend uh, a lot of money on startup capital into you know ramping up a new business and at the time you know I had three little ones under the age of five so I was really tight on time as well and that's what got me to start looking into this you know what is this LinkedIn thing uh, and and if you are also stretched for time and money the LinkedIn is the perfect tool that really can solve that problem for you as a lead generation machine and uh, and I'm going to just show you how easy it is to use it so here's the, here's what happened for me before I actually you know discovered LinkedIn and, and started playing around with it I started my 
um, coaching business in 2008, just kind of doing things the old school method. You know, I was out there networking and I was go going to these chamber event groups and then you had to schedule follow-up appointments and one-on-one -on -one consultations and then you had to follow up on that and, you know, and then I was driving into the city, which is an hour and a half away and, I mean, it was really a big time-consuming thing and eventually it, it took a few months for me to realize boy, I don't know if I can sustain this. It was taking 20 to 30 hours a week doing the traditional you know, networking approach. So while I was still able to attract clients that way, I just didn't, uh, I just didn't want to sustain that. You know, and, and that's where I just got to the point, everybody, where, and you might be at this point too, where you're just ready for a, a, an easier way and you're ready for a faster way to leverage your time when it comes to marketing. So let me show you the difference when I did finally, you know, crack the code and, and I tried a bunch of trial and error kind of stuff, but I, I finally willed it down to, to 30 minutes a day and it, it was, it just totally transformed my schedule, you know, which allowed me to serve more people, serve more clients, and it even allowed me to have, you know, more free days to be able to, you know, not be running around and traveling to all these networking events and so forth. And so this is what's possible when you learn to how to leverage this as a tool for your business. And I'm going to um, start telling you about some of this stuff, right? Okay. So if you got a pen and paper, get ready to take notes. Um, this is important to be able to go back to guys when you know it's going to be two weeks later, four weeks later, you're going to forget you know half the stuff that you just learned. So it's important to take this down. All right, so why LinkedIn works even better than your website to get known as the go-to expert? And by the way, I know that's a bold statement, like I said earlier. I am a huge advocate of websites. I definitely think everyone should have one. In fact, I actually teach another course, you know, on how to optimize and get more clients from your website. But when you compare the two, here are some differences that you should know, okay? Engagement on LinkedIn versus your website is very different. The average time that people spend on your website, on any website, is, is less than eight minutes, okay? And in fact, for the majority of clients I work with when I do help them on their website, uh, we see that their Google Analytics people are spending two minutes. But now compare that to the average time people spend on LinkedIn is more than twice as long. It's 17 minutes. So you've got a more engaged audience. And not only that, 40% of LinkedIn users are logging on daily. So I really want you to keep that into context. Now think about, you know, people who come to your website, they're, they're not necessarily coming to your website every single day. And, and so that's the difference. You have the opportunity to have repeated exposure to people who are coming on, you know, all the time. Plus the other thing, there are over 2 million LinkedIn groups. And so what that means for you is that you you have an opportunity to gain visibility in a very targeted community. Okay, so it's not like, I mean, w when you go to a, um, you know, and, and I love and support my local chamber of commerce, but they're all kind of the same, right? They're 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 gonna have a mixed bag of of who comes to these events, you know? So you've got employees, you've got business development people, you've got salespeople, you've got business owners, you've got vendors. So it's a real mixed. Um, to a group of people, but with LinkedIn, you have the opportunity to get in front of a targeted, pure audience of just who your ideal buyers are. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that, you know, as we go on. So really why LinkedIn works better is really three reasons. One, you've got repeated exposure, which we just talked about, and they're an engaged audience. LinkedIn itself has way more traffic as well, and they do represent a much more affluent audience. And so Traffic's imp important, you guys. All right, so when I teach websites, you know, not only do we teach, okay, we got to help you convert more people to your visitors to your website or from your website, but we also got to drive more traffic. But see here with LinkedIn, you don't have a traffic problem, you know, because there's so many people on it. And I have this slide here just to show you. I mean, imagine if you had, if you're going to open up like a brick and mortar kind of a business. So let's say you're going to open up a restaurant. Are you really going to pick, you know, a place that looks like this? on this desolate road that you you can pretty much tell is not going to get a whole lot of traffic. So it really doesn't matter how great 
your service is or how great your business is, if your website is not getting that much traffic, which no website gets as much traffic as LinkedIn does, you're, you're just not going to get the visibility. So more members, it means more traffic, and the, the numbers on LinkedIn, it just continues to rise. You know, every year there's more. In fact, now there's over 380 million users who are registered on LinkedIn. That's pretty tremendous. I, I don't know of any website that's ever going to touch, you know, that amount of traffic. All right, so we talked about traffic. And then I also mentioned earlier, um, you've got affluent you know, buyers there. 90% of LinkedIn users, they're the ones who make household decisions, right? And so the affluence is going to really help you not have to waste time with tire kickers because when you compare LinkedIn to the other um, social media platforms, it outranks Facebook and Twitter for highest average income. In fact, a lot of you might uh, be surprised to know that really 41% of millionaires use LinkedIn. So 41% of LinkedIn users are millionaires. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty uh, incredible statistic. So this is awesome because now that just, for a lot of people, that eliminates half of your prospects that you don't need to have to waste your time with because, you know, they were just tire kickers and they can't afford it anyway. So I like, I like this uh, adjective of a, a millionaire, right? A millionaire is someone who has little to no money. Okay, so we talked about the type of people on LinkedIn. This is important for you to know. So the, the next thing, and I know I'm moving fast today, I really want to get a lot in. Uh, so if anybody needs me to pause or repeat anything, just let me know. All right, so the second thing I want to dive into is why people go on LinkedIn, and then I'll show you that three-minute market test. So three, three basic reasons. Now, you got to stop and pause. Okay, and try to put yourself in their shoes. So the three core reasons people go on is they want to network with key people. So if you want to, you know, be moving with the movers and shakers, you want to be found on LinkedIn and not only found, but later, you know, you'll start seeing how important it is to be found as the go-to expert. Okay, those are those are two different things. Now, they also go to search for new hires, whether it's hiring for new employees, but if you are a business owner and you're an entrepreneur, you're in business for yourself, you're self-employed, you know, they're also looking for new hires in, in that respect. So that's a lot of what people go on LinkedIn for. And the third is, you know what, you may very well be missing a lot of potential new clients and leaving business on the table because um, you're not really well represented, you know, on LinkedIn. Because people go there to check you out, you know. So if they saw you speak somewhere or they saw an advertisement for you. In fact, I did this yesterday. I was looking for just a house painter, right? And, and I was Googling house painter and the guys, um, actually Googling a very specific guy that somebody recommended. And his website was nowhere to be found, but his LinkedIn profile was. And it was empty. It had nothing there. So, you know, it really kind of lowered my um, confidence level. So people do go there to check you out. That's why you want to make sure you have a, a strong profile and a strong presence. Okay, we talked about why they go. You know, they go to um, search for new hires and they go to network with key people. I mean, check this out. Look at the amount of people that are showing up within LinkedIn. I mean, just this example of accountants or financial planners or realtors, interior designers, you see. LinkedIn itself, you know, you may not be aware of this, but just even from four years ago, and, and the number is, is more now, but 5.7 billion searches were done inside LinkedIn. So it's kind of like, you know, its own browser, its own search browser. And back in the day, um, Ken, I'm sure, you know, you remember the, the yellow pages, right? So if you had a business, you had to make sure you were in the phone book. That's you were right. in the yellow pages. That's right. And so this, yeah, this has, I mean, of course, the yellow pages have kind of fallen away, but this is the business, you know, Yellow Pages book, but it's on steroids, you know. So this is where you want to be found and represent it well. Now, I talked about vetting. You know, if your LinkedIn profile looks a little bit like this or if it's just sparse, you might have, a, you know, a few more items on. But the idea is you think about it. Put yourself in their shoes, you know. If, if they want to network with someone and they want to find the best accountant or the best whoever, you know, are you really going to return her call when you check out her profile and there's not much there? 
And that's why you want to make the effort and it's worth it. To your business, it will pay tenfold, a uh, hundredfold, you know, for you to really have that strong presence on LinkedIn. Okay, so now what if you're not sure if LinkedIn is the right platform for you? And uh, I'd love if you could type in everybody into the chat box, what type of business do you have? You know, I would love to know that. If you could type that into the chat box, uh, I love engagement and feedback. So that would be awesome. All right. So the three-minute market test, I'm going to give you a couple of different examples. Uh, so first of all, here's what you want to do. Write this down. Search. You want to search job titles of your ideal customers. Okay. Now, most people um, do think of LinkedIn, and LinkedIn is the, it does have the reputation for really being the leader for B2B businesses. Okay. So if you are, if you are in a B2B um, type of business, then absolutely, this is a no-brainer. But I also want to show you how surprising it is. Most people don't think of B2C type businesses doing well with this. So I want to give you an example of a, you know, a B2C one. One of my past clients, Greg, he owns a window cleaning company. And, you know, most uh, people in that arena, you know, they, they serve both the consumer, as in residential homeowners, as well as uh, businesses, and so did he. So his decision makers, you know, he really focused on, he wanted to uh, really get a lot more colleges and universities, and his decision makers were office managers, right? And so, so check this out, two million people who have the job title office managers. And, and so you want to think about who your key decision makers are. And for him, the other one was a facility director. And, and, and he thought, Ugh, they're not on LinkedIn. Well, you know what? We found a ton of facility directors who were on LinkedIn. They had a really good profile, you know, and they were present. So you want to do that for yourself. Okay, the second um, minute is you want to spend is search people, search what people would type in to find somebody like you. Okay? So if you're... Um, an attorney, you know, you type that in. If you are a relationship coach, you type that in. And just staying with Greg's example, um, and he was really skeptical, okay? So he typed in, okay, I guess we're going to type in window cleaning company. And he was really surprised, 3,170 results. So when you do this, you know, this is how you test if this is the, the right platform for you, is you do these searches, okay? And uh, if your competitor's on there, you better darn well make sure that you're leading in the search results. Um, so it's interesting. This next slide is um, 50,000. Now, the other one was window cleaning companies, but then you want to do variations. We just did window cleaning. So he had way more results with that, and that really gave us some clues, by the way, as to how to optimize um, his profile. You know, it's really based on what the market is showing us. It's telling us, you know, how do people phrase what they're looking for. So that was a, that was a million dollar tip there. Okay. All right. So. That was the second minute, right? The third minute in your three-minute test is you want to search strategic referral partners and community groups. And what I mean by that is everybody, uh, whatever business you're in, you have three or four, maybe more, different types of people who would make great strategic referral partners for you. So you're not competitors, uh, but, but you share the same audience, okay? So you want to do that. So we did that. Uh, Let's see. No, this is not the slide I want. Okay, here, here's the slide I want, right? Here's a case study. One of my clients, Jack, he leveraged just one strategy. He went with this, right? And that helped him go from zero to seven figures in his business in less than two years. So Jack is a broker, right? And the majority of his business really comes from referrals, from trusted partners. So this one strategy is something that he leveraged and he connected, he went to town looking uh, for CPAs in his area, his city. He found 802 results and that was great for him because, you know, he didn't want to sit there and reach out to a million CPAs. Uh, and so he was able to then also be strategic on cities, like he only wanted to find people within an hour radius. Um, and so what I teach is, well, let's use this online platform to help you build the introductions and the connections, and then you can take it offline as well. So he really thrived. This is 
This is the one strategy that Jack leveraged that it took his business from zero to seven figures. Okay, so I just want you to, to let that pause. Okay, and I want you to think about before we go on to the, the third item, I want you to really think about for yourself, what are the names, if you're taking notes, what are the uh, names of the types of strategic referral partners that would really be uh, great for your business? So write that down. So that's one of the things that should really be on your action plan list, right, uh, when we get off. Okay, moving on. What we're going to cover, the third item, I did tell you I was going to share a secret tool to help you optimize your LinkedIn profile so you get found by high paying customers. And so you want to think, think about this. You want to definitely be found by the people who are ready to buy right now, the people who are ready to hire right now, okay? And these are the low hanging fruit. They're the easiest people to convert. Uh, as far as your sales process. So if your LinkedIn profile isn't optimized, it's going to make it really hard for you to get found. So this would be, you know, your first priority. Now, the thing is, why optimize your LinkedIn profile? Well, number one, it, it actually does both. It helps you get found on page one of Google and on page one of LinkedIn. Okay, check this out. Usually, you know, let's, let's say somebody, uh, someone's friend, you know, recommended you and they said, oh yeah, just call John Smith. So he's from such and such business. Most people don't really remember the name of the business. So take a look, you know, so they put your name in and LinkedIn almost every time will come up uh, number one on the search results. And here's my example. And this is like, my website is optimized pretty well, right? <laughs> uh, and yet, LinkedIn ranks higher than my website. It ranked higher than CNN, higher than Twitter, higher than YouTube. Okay, number one, there, there it was. And so keep that in mind is that whatever you're doing, it's, it's, you're getting this multi-benefit because it doesn't stop within the LinkedIn, um, you know, URL. It, it does help you on Google. So. Let me let me tell you about Greg, okay? So he, he was losing business to his competitors for years, years. He didn't even realize it because he was nowhere to be found when we searched, you know, for all the different keyword variations we could think of, you know, that his buyers would put in there. So this is the exercise for you to jot down. Uh, this is what I want you to do as your action assignment this week is what would people type into Google to hire someone like you? All right, so type that in, uh, excuse me, just write that down and try a bunch of different variations. And so, and test them out and see what you come up with both on Google and on LinkedIn because that's what we're going to use, okay, to help you optimize. So let me give you, a, give you another example. And this is the part, I, it just gets so cool because I, I love, you know, actually being on the line with one of my students or one of my clients and, and, doing this for them and literally in one session they can just see the difference. So this, there was another uh, person who, who went through my LinkedIn course, Phil, and I asked him, well, okay, well, how would people search for you? And his business is experiential marketing agency. And of course, there's, you can see there's over a million uh, results for that and we went page after page after page after page and we, we couldn't find him, you know, his website. And so we did some optimizing and uh, and now he went from not only being fa not found on Google and not found on LinkedIn, but instantly he was on page one on LinkedIn. Past he surpassed forty three thousand other people who also are experiential marketing agencies. I mean, if you don't get fired up about that, like that, that's just so fun, right? So this. Can, this is what I'm talking about uh, as far as optimizing your profile. Okay, so that can happen for you. Now, you want to think about, you know, what you want to optimize for. So the most common ways you think uh, that, that customers search for you is one, your name, okay, uh, your occupation, 
So if they're thinking, oh my gosh, I am dying of uh, my of back pain. You know, I really need a back specialist, or I need a chiropractor. I, I need to find a better chiropractor. Or I need to find a neurological chiropractor. Right. So your occupation, and then the type of problem you solve. So in that case, it would be back pain specialist and the solution. So if people are really um, more researched and they think, okay, I I, I want to know who in my area uh, is doing the special. Um, now I'm blanking out for <laughs> a special type of modality, right? That that helps back pain. Maybe it's myofascial. Okay, there there you go. So maybe they they already are familiar with myofascial release, and that's what they're looking for. So those are the four different um, categories that you want to make sure that you think through, so you can optimize for those. So anyway. In this slide, I, went, I wanted to show you how, again, his, this guy Phil, his LinkedIn profile came up number one on Google searches. Uh, and here's some other examples. Okay, so moving on from Phil, you know, within LinkedIn, LinkedIn training, uh, my profile, you know, passes 195,000 other people who also do LinkedIn training. And here we go. This is even after I... Uh, this is more recently checked it again because you can tell I changed my picture. Still on page one for LinkedIn training, and here's a few more examples. You know, business coach for small business. You know, my profile passes 254,000 other um, results, and here's my uh, my guy Jack. I was telling you about. He does. He's a broker for business funding, so his profile passed a million. That's pretty tremendous. Okay, he got on page one of. LinkedIn search results passed 1 million other people who also do business funding. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, so how do you do that, right? So this is, I'm going to just show you pretty quickly, you know, where you can put your keywords once you figure out what they are. So you, you see the red arrows, you know, these are some of the places where we specifically put um, these keyword phrases on his profile. And you can see it's in the summary section. We even put it in within his recommendations. Um, and this is the tool I'm going to show you, by the way. Well, actually, let me go back. All right. So you've got, I don't want you to miss this. So you've, if you want to optimize for your keywords, you've got summary section, but your LinkedIn profile, it just, it does continue further. You know, you've got your experience section, and I didn't have the room on the slide to show you. You've got experience, you've got past positions, okay? You even have um, things that you upload, right? So instead of titling, you might upload a PowerPoint presentation or a Word document or a PDF, a video, anything. You know, it allows you to, LinkedIn lets you upload those extra things to your profile. So you want to uh, also, know that that's going to help your keywords. Instead of uploading, um, <laughs> I saw someone upload their PDF using the name of the client that they worked with, right? I forget what they did. I think it was website marketing. And so they probably should have labeled it website marketing, but they labeled it, you know, like John Smith testimonial, you know, and, and so that didn't really have a keyword benefit to them. They missed it. Um, so you don't have to miss it because you're on this webinar and you got this tip, this really great takeaway that can help make a huge difference in making you get found, helping get found. Okay, so now there's something called keyword density and this is the tool that, um, this is the site, it's a free site, free tool. It's kazer.net, but then you gotta do slash keyword dash density. So this is what their site looks like and once you write up your summary and your experience, you can edit, copy that and paste it and it'll show you at the bottom what keywords come up the most. So what two keyword phrases and three keyword phrases come up the most so you can see that you rank the way that you wrote it, it's 28% for you know business coach and it's 47% for LinkedIn training, you know, so it'll it'll show you that. So it's a really, really pretty cool tool. Uh, so that is a super quick lesson. That's just one tip. Um, there's, there's a few more tips in that same module that I teach, but I wanted to give that to you to uh, be able to implement right away. Okay, so we are now super stoked about having the tools, now you know how to optimize your profile 
and get yourself found on both Google and LinkedIn, I want to now share with you the mindset behind monetizing your time on LinkedIn. And this is this is where a lot of people, you know, they they might think it's intuitive, and they uh, usually tend to go about it totally the opposite way. Okay, and let me explain to you what I mean by that. First of all, there is a law of consumer behavior. You know, and you may have heard this before, but it's important to be reminded people don't buy from companies. Okay, they buy from people they know, like, and trust. And so this is such a critical foundational principle that can help you turn your LinkedIn activity and to use that, leverage your time, monetize your time, as well as really, you know, have people chasing you. It's not about what what I see, what I find a lot of people doing on LinkedIn is, you know, they're in a hurry to to sell. You know, they're in a hurry to to prospect. They're in a hurry to meet buyers and close clients, and 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 you're kind of doing it backwards because by by jumping the gun, okay, uh, before it's natural course, before, if you skip this whole no like, and trust thing, they, they're really not going to regard you as the expert. You know, they're really going to start regarding you as the spammer or the sales, salesy kind of person, right, that, that um, typical, stereotypical car sales kind of guy, right? Nothing against a car salesman, but so this is the law of consumer behavior. And you want to use that as your guiding principle on how what you you know how you decide to approach your LinkedIn. Um, so we talk more about this. Uh, <sighs> There's, there's so much that you can do, right, to help yourself build that immediate no like trust. And it's, it's really about authority and giving you credibility. Um, so I teach you a lot more about how to do this. But just a, a quick little example to, to give you. Here is on LinkedIn, you know, there's this incredible resource that people have. Um, and it's free, by the way. I mean, having an account on LinkedIn is free, too. So when people go on LinkedIn, they can type in, okay, this is a problem I'm having, right? And for me, as an example, the, uh, a lot of my clients, they, they have um, a staff, you know, and so when they're hiring new people, it's not uncommon that they might have uh, non-compliant employees, right, who aren't cooperating. So this is a phrase I hear a lot, you know, how, Yun, how can I overcome employee resistance? Well, think about what are the phrases you hear a lot, and guess what? You you write a, a post about it. So LinkedIn calls it a post. It used to be called, you know, getting published in the LinkedIn Pulse, but now it's really called the uh, post. So this is a long form post, and you can utilize this to really build, help you build that no like trust by giving some great tips. And ch I mean, check it out. It's pretty amazing that there's, uh, I just typed it in this morning actually, because I wanted to, you know, refresh in, uh, my update my slides. So this is from today, right? Uh, over my post that I wrote, I wrote this two years ago, two and a half years ago, and it still ranks number one on the search results ahead of 560,000 other results on this same problem. Okay, so there are other people who wrote about overcoming resistance to change. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And I, and so anyway, I don't have time to go into all the details of how you actually do that, but it's in it's in further training for any for those of you who wanted to get a deeper dive on that. But I, I just want to show you what's possible right now. Okay, and the whole point is that this is helping you build your know, like, trust. They have to know you, like you, and trust you to then come chase after you, you know, to uh, become a client. And so not all of my LinkedIn posts have gotten, you know, the same amount of views, but this one, it, it really seemed to be a winner, you know, got over 5,000, almost 6,000 views and 28 comments uh, from people on LinkedIn. And yeah, so those are the folks you want to connect with, people who already are warm to who you are and the insights that you have to offer. I mean, you all have an area of expertise. 
right? You all have your unique gifts and talents and skills. So this is your chance. This is your opportunity to showcase that. And that's where, for me, it was such the difference when I looked at Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus and Instagram and uh, Pinterest, you know, I, the, the, this is the thing that none of the other social media platforms had. So it's just the way that LinkedIn is structured. It, it, it sets you up. Like all you have to do is fill in the blanks, basically. You know, they, they have this great post section, so all you got to do is put a post there. Whereas in the other social media platforms, it, it really didn't have an easy way, you know, for people like us to, to showcase your expertise. You know, and and the beauty of the time saver is, like I mentioned earlier, I mean, I, this is an article I wrote two and a half years ago, you guys, and I'm still getting, you know, people looking at it, reading it, commenting on it, and then follow, you know, some people follow up, and that's how they land in my inbox. So that's a great way to leverage your time. Okay, I know I talk fast, and I know we covered a lot, and I was trying to jam as much content and give you as much as I could in this hour that we have t together, but I also wanted to leave some time for questions. So I want to review, I just want you to um, summarize, you know, review in your mind the things that we talked about. You know, we talked about why LinkedIn works even better than your website. The critical key here is really to get known as the go-to expert, and that's what makes the difference of clients chasing you, okay? If you're the expert, you don't need to go chasing them. So we talked about how to do that three-minute test to see if LinkedIn is the right social media platform for your specific business. Um, I shared with you that bonus secret tool so you can go right to work uh, this week to optimize your LinkedIn profile and that is pretty much instant results which is very cool. And, now, and then I also just showed you how to monetize your time with the uh, three core foundations. And the core foundations, again, was the know, like, trust, right? Know, like, trust. That's what we need to base it on. And when you do that, and, you know, writing a post is a great example. There's other ways to do it. But for today, that's what I'll g I can give you. Uh, that's a great way to be able to build instant know, like, trust with that. Okay, so there was a fifth one that we talked about that we covered today. And I want to make sure that I help you uh, feel confident and ready to attract more clients and close more sales using the six-figure LinkedIn secrets formula that you can rinse and repeat, okay? So there's only so much I can cover within uh, really the past 45 minutes. So this is an opportunity for those of you who want to go further to, to actually be able to implement this um, correctly, okay, into your business. I love this quote by Abraham Lincoln. If I had six hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first four hours sharpening the ax. Right? Isn't that wise? So this is your opportunity. Uh, if you want to go further and you want to really sharpen your marketing skills and not waste time trying to figure it on your own, which you could, uh, but I want to give you an offer you a structure and a process to help you get this done quicker, especially because included is, is feedback, you know, which is really critical. So now, whether you decide to go further with me today or not, pay attention to this because this is the sequence, all right? I'm giving you the sequence that you should go move in any way, okay? You... <sighs> For LinkedIn to really work well for you, right, is, and especially within this little compartmentalized 30 minutes um, a day, because I have had, by the way, I, I worked with, uh, I worked with a sales guy who already spent, he was spending 10, 15 hours a week on LinkedIn before we started working together, and he was frustrated that he wasn't really um, getting business out of it, right, so this is, um, if you want this to work and not have to work that hard like the other guy did, you want to have these things all together, right? It, it, it's a whole piece. The sequencing matters. So module one in the course is going to show you how to build instant findability. I showed you a little bit of that today. But the other half of it is gettability, okay? Because you would be amazed how many people really don't get 
uh, what you do. And it's, it's a hard thing. You're so immersed in your own business. You know exactly what you do. A lot of the language that you use, you know, you're used to. Uh, it's very, you know, industry speak and so forth. But this is this is the part that you know. Let me tell you, ninety-five percent of the um, clients and the students that I work with, this is this is a big thing that gets in the way. Okay, so that's the first thing off on your checklist. Okay, the second thing you, piece of this six-figure LinkedIn secrets formula is you want to build a strategy on how you're going to build instant authority and credibility. So in the course, I'm going to hold your hand and I'm going to show you. These are like just, all you do is you watch a video, I show you some, some strategies, I give you an action step to do for that week and then you go do it. And then what's great is you come back the following week and I have these live Q&A sessions where I can actually give you feedback to say, oh yeah, that was really great what you did or, ooh, y you're on the right track but, you know, let's just change this, this and that. I think that would make a huge difference. So this is how you can speed things up for yourself, okay? But the second piece that you want to accomplish is you do want to have the authority and credibility pieces. So that's like, there's about a dozen things, you know, that goes in that uh, to helping you build. And I, today, with showing you the posts, that was just one, okay, out of those dozen. All right, so the next thing you want to make sure you have in your LinkedIn formula is you want to have um, confidence. You want to be able to build confidence with social proof, okay? And so that's really key as far as the uh, buying decision. And then module four is teaching you how to attract your targeted audience, right? So you how to build a LinkedIn network. The whole point of LinkedIn is to really give you direct access because you've got first degree connections and, and so uh, you can see right into their, you know, Rolodex, so to speak, and I'm dating myself because I don't even know if people have Rolodexes anymore, <laughs> but on LinkedIn, it's like your online Rolodex. You can see what's in everyone else's Rolodex, and you can take a look at, oh, hey, Ken, I noticed, you know, you're, you're uh, connected with uh, the editor of uh, Time Magazine, you know, and, and so this is, the cool part that really just skips all the heavy lifting and time wasting activities that it used to take to try to get connected with the right people. So in the inside the course, I just give you the shortcut on how to do that on LinkedIn. But going back to confidence, I just want to show you this, okay, because this really, uh, this is why people aren't a tr you know, these are all, it's not one reason, you guys, all right? When you say, okay, what's the magic bullet? It's not one thing that's going to help you all of a sudden uh, attract new clients. It's it's doing a bunch of little things, and, and this is where I package it all, right? But just to point out a, a one line item of not having social proof, I mean, this person, I just found right from LinkedIn search, they're a freelance designer, but it's a little odd that they've been doing it for 10 years and they only have one recommendation. So what does that tell you, right? It goes, oh my gosh, nobody wants to feel like they're the first one or the only one to hire you. You know, so it's, it's, a, it's all these little things that wanna, you want to have in place and I show you how to do that. So check out the difference if you were to land on my profile and you go, oh, phew, thank goodness, you know, she's, she's got 26 recommendations, you know, and not only that, it's pretty cool, you know, Jack was able to share specifically that he's doubled his business his first six months working with me as his business coach and hiring, uh, hiring me was the best decision. I mean, phew, wow, there is no amount of salesmanship that I could possibly do or say, you guys, I could match that, right, or beat that. And, and, and so the, the hard part where people struggle, people struggle with getting the recommendations and people struggle with getting the recommendations to really sell you well. Uh, so I teach you how to do that. You know, I just give you the, I have templates and shortcuts and so forth. But I just want you to see the difference with that, right? Okay, so there, there are two more modules because this is a six-step six formula and, and it has to go in sequence, you guys. You don't want to jump uh, the gun and try to hit the ground running and fire away at connecting with people and start posting discussions and all that when one through 
four really isn't in place. You know, you're going to find that you have to work so much harder and longer to get the same kind of results if, if you had you just done everything in order. Okay, so module five is a t then when you're ready for this, it's uh, attracting attention and engagement, right? And so that's key because if you're in a group of um, I don't know, let's say you're uh, let's let's say you do websites, right? So if you design websites and you're in a LinkedIn group and there's 50,000 members or even 5,000, doesn't matter, uh, of people who are also web designers, you want to grab attention. And so I'm going to show you some really effective ways that I have um, tested, okay? And, and these are the proven methods to help you do that. And then, of course, the idea is, hey, we, we want this to culminate in helping you actually attract clients. So included in my LinkedIn training, which I haven't seen included in anyone's LinkedIn training, is, is moving them from, you know, connecting on LinkedIn to engaging on LinkedIn to then converting them to becoming a client. So this is really now in the sales lane, like how do you close a sale? Um, so that's actually included in this LinkedIn training to help, so you, I want to help you make sure that this really turns into new clients for you. Okay, now I will give you a little caveat. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a big caveat, right? If you're not great at what you do, I can't help you attract you know, a ton more clients. So I am assuming that everybody, everybody on the call, I am assuming that you, you are really good at what you do. All right, and so that's, I just wanna make that a baseline. Everybody's aware that we can't, you know, uh, that'd be really salesy too. I can't help you sell more clients if you're not already great at what you do. Okay, enough said. So moving on to this slide. Um, so part of the other module, attention, you know, I, I, we're going to teach you how to find exactly which LinkedIn groups, because, you know, I just told you there was 2 million. That's pretty overwhelming. Uh, I'm going to show you how to find which LinkedIn groups and which discussions that will best showcase your expertise, okay? Um, it's kind of funny. I do see people making comments, and, and they don't say anything that meaningful. It's kind of like, I don't know how many of you on the line have kids, but I've got two teenagers, and a 12 year old and it's it always cracks me up you know when you read their texts and there's like 77 people texting contributing to the uh, conversation and they're saying things like what's up <laughs> you know what are you doing nothing <laughs> and you know these short um, crypt like cryptic answers right and, and somehow that that's 77 comments so you don't want to do that because there, there are actually people who have that version of that, where it's, they're commenting, they're spending all this time commenting, but they're not actually being leveraging that to showcase themselves, right, as the go-to expert. So we show you how to do that, and how to do it quickly. You know, uh, how to templatize it, how to systematize it. Oh, here's there's so much in in the course, but here's the other thing you you want to know. We also teach you what not to do. Okay, and and a lot of people do this kind of stuff. You know, just because you see uh, lots of different things being done on LinkedIn doesn't necessarily mean they're doing it well or if it works, okay, or if it's effective. Here's an example of something right in my inbox in LinkedIn, you know, and here's a guy who um, is, is really just kind of giving me a spam sort of email because I don't know him, right, and I, the, 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 it's, I can tell it's a bulk email, you know, it's not personal. So it's, it does not make me feel like I know him and he knows me. Uh, and the, the odd part of it is I ha he actually sent me the same exact message like four times over a five-month period. And, you know, when you go into your LinkedIn e emails, it, it already organizes the uh, messages from the same people. So it's not like a... A difficult thing for me to realize you keep sending me the same you're spamming me and quit it you know so oh there's there's a lot of other common faux pas that people make that not only kind of makes you lose your trust and credibility but actually there's some worse things there's there are some things that can get you banned uh, from LinkedIn because LinkedIn groups because uh, it's it's not created it's it, LinkedIn's very very much designed to help people People facilitate um, authentic relationships. Okay, um, so you want to learn what those things are. But the good news is, look, 
it are chasing you instead of you chasing them. Now, in back in the 90s, I used to teach sales teams and train them on prospecting and following up and whew, it was tedious and long and exhausting and you know there's high turnover in sales because nobody likes getting rejected you know a zillion times and this is the cool part is you now here's an email I just I just open up my LinkedIn email and, and um, my inbox and I, and I see stuff like this right and and this can happen for you too. So just imagine how much easier that is. You know, because you've done the groundwork that I teach in the program. And again, you can do the groundwork on your own or you can do it faster, uh, just in a structured process, you know, because I, I have it so you could just get through it. And even if you just do it once a week, one module a week, you could, you could get the done, get it done in six weeks. All right. So that's the cool part, you know, having clients chasing you. And again, these are the stuff that I teach, I'm in the same boat with most of you, right? If, if you're uh, time crunched, right? So everything that I've tested is really based on my limitation of time. So you can break it up in 15 minutes. What's awesome is you probably know by now you can download LinkedIn on your phone. So Ken talked about how he was talking to me at the grocery store. Well. I am, you know, there's been many times where I'm in a long line at the grocery store and I don't mind waiting anymore because I can just, boom, you know, do something productive and share a comment, you know, or post something on LinkedIn and it takes me three minutes, right? Uh, so there's so many opportunities where you're waiting and you've got all this dead time and you can do things and, and be productive even in little three, five minute increments. Okay, and by the way, if you haven't seen that, uh, if you do want to know more about the course and look under the hood, everything there, just go to iBoostify.com slash LinkedIn because this is a special offer. I'll, I'll tell you about a special offer just for you guys. But I do want to bring you back to this. You know, whether you, um, I, I want to encourage you, right, to, to find that quicker way because why go back to the old way of doing things when you can discover an, a way that you could monetize your time in a much quicker fashion uh, as far as finding new clients. Okay, all right. So anyway, I forgot to tell you about the bonuses, so here we go. The bonuses um, I do have for you is I want to help you, this, it's called Six Figure LinkedIn Secrets, to help you monetize you know, six figures in new business. And actually some of my clients, depending on your business, what you sell, some of my clients have been able to do seven figures, right? Uh, so. The thing is, we've got to nail down your business model, and so that's actually a bonus that I also put in there to help you have the right position your business model in a way that will get you faster to profits and faster sales. So that's a bonus. The second bonus that I have in this course is I want you to have that instant, you know, endorsement credibility kind of a thing. Just like earlier, you know, I showed, when I introduced myself, I was able to share with you, oh yeah, I was published in CNN and the Wall Street Journal and Entrepreneur Magazine, Money Magazine. I mean, these are big, uh, well-known names that my market knows and respects and it's, it's kind of like having, being endorsed you know, by those folks because I was published, right? And so I want to help you do the same for whatever equivalent it is in your industry to get famous on LinkedIn with that media attention. So I'll show you how to do that without having to hire expensive uh, marketing and PR agencies. There's a way you can do this actually for free, right? So, okay, so that's second bonus. The third bonus is I want to make sure people really get what you do. And so that's how to communicate your wow factor. And this is an area that I keep running into people having trouble, struggling, figuring out their wow factor, you know? And I mean, nobody wants to be a commodity, right? No, nobody wants to be seen as, oh, yeah, right, uh, you're, you're an IP attorney, sure, I know 30 of them. You know, and so this module I threw in as a bonus. Plus, you're going to get some, I want to save you time, so you're going to get some done for you checklists. I've got tools, you know, all of this to help shortcut your success. And uh, not only that, you know, even before you jump on a live call with me, you can listen 
to past live recordings of other people who we reviewed their um, homework assignment, right? And we reviewed, okay, so now you try to implement module one, let's take a look and what the feedback is. And you would be amazed how much gold there is. Uh, that there, People really fall into the, a lot of similar patterns, right? So you can learn from other people's mistakes. Let me tell you, it is way, way, cheaper okay and faster to learn from other people's mistakes than it is to make your own and trying to learn from that uh, let alone recover from that okay so it is all online so it's really easy you could log on from your smartphone your iPad your computer and I just want to make it even juicier because I, I love working with fast action takers because I really find when I look I take a look at who my superstars were the, uh, as far as my students and my clients. The, the one thing they all have in common is they were in my fast action taking um, category. You know, they don't overthink it. You know, if they learn something, they just go and do it. They implement it. You know, they, they don't overthink it about, oh, should I, shouldn't I? I mean, you know, so this is what I'm looking for my next superstar and I hope that's going to be you and that's why I'm throwing in uh, two juicy red hot fast action bonuses for those of you who decide to enroll in this course within the next 48 hours all right this is an online course but I want to give you access to me one-on-one -on -one. and this can really <laughs> set you off in completely a different direction and it's always the, the right direction correct right so the first session that we want to make sure we have is I want to help you work out your what your magnetic offers are you need really great true truly irresistible free offers that attract clients like crazy on LinkedIn and I'm going to even show you how to turn that into growing your email list um, but if you have some offers we're going to make them even juicier or, or add to that so you can uh, this this is gonna like completely power boost your uh, your results right so this is why I'm throwing this in with one-on-one -on -one time and then a second session with me when you're done completing the course uh, a second laser coaching session with me just one-on-one -on -one. so we can just button everything up and you can get um, some final feedback to help you really you know get extra results from what you're doing so again that page that um, we have for you is at iBoostify.com slash LinkedIn for you to take a look and I do want you to know it is a hundred percent risk free you know this decision there's there's no risk for you to just go and try it out but imagine like what what if it worked you know what if, what if you did get more connections and grow uh, your network and and actually attract more clients imagine that so I am going to give you my 100% money back guarantee. It's a full, you've got a full 30 days to just test drive the course, you know, go through it, work through it. And, and if you're not, if this isn't totally, uh, you know, something that you're excited about, then, you know, if the stuff that you've tried, then you can have a money back guarantee. Absolutely. Okay. So I want to make sure that you know that. So just to recap, by the way, here's everything you're getting. So this is delivered as a step-by-step -step video training modules, which really lets you go at your own pace. And you can go as fast as you want. You can binge watch, get the whole six-week course done in one week. You can watch one a day, uh, or you can you know space it out. So you've got really easy to plan, you know, easy to follow uh, checklist that you can just boom, 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 you know. It's like paint by numbers. You've got uh, a live coaching call option with me. That is an upgrade. I'll show you what the choices are. And then you've got lifetime access to this uh, online course and, and member forum where you can get some group support as well, which is pretty cool. So don't forget the fast action bonuses and the, the, the regular bonuses when you add them all together because I want to make sure that you, you've got a solid business model that helps you uh, get to your six-figure success as quickly as possible. Um, I want to make sure that you can help help you get some media attention, and and then of course the uh, the one-on-one -on -one help. So all of this sold separately. The total value is eleven thousand two hundred and twenty-six dollars. That's what it is sold separately, and 
I wanted to, however, really make this so easy for you as far as a no-brainer. So today, if you decide you'd like to just test drive this, there's two options. The online course, everything you saw, you know, uh, on those screens, is only $4.97. And then this, the same course, if you add the live um, coaching calls, so there's eight, eight live group coaching calls with me. When you add that, that's $9.97 which is a fraction of what it would be to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So this is your opportunity, and I just want to invite you to be able to make this kind of, see, see this kind of difference for your business, because I've, I've seen it for mine, and I've seen it for so many other people. Um, reality is LinkedIn is not going away, and it just keeps getting stronger and stronger. It's not a fad. There's only more and more people who keep you know, coming out there. All right, so uh, at this time, I want to be able to see if we have any, uh, I know we, only, we have just a few minutes left for, for questions, for Q&A. So Ken, do we, do we have any questions in the chat box? I had to unmute myself. Yes, we have some questions. Let me, uh, let me jump in here real quick and scroll up. Um, so let's see, there's Nadine. Uh, we have, yeah, Jim wants to know, do we have to have a paid account to find out who's searching our site? Um, well, okay, let me rephrase that. You don't have, uh, everything I teach is based on having a free account on LinkedIn. All right, so having a free account gives you a personal LinkedIn profile. You can also attach a business page to that, and that's free too. Um, so everything I teach is based on the, the free account. That's always good news. We love that. Um, yeah. Fred wanted to know the secret tool that you had mentioned. Oh, yeah, that was um, a few slides ago. That's kaiser.net. K E S O R dot net slash key, keyword dash density. K K E S O R dot net forward slash keyword mm -hmm. density. Okay. Keyword. Yep. Keyword dash density. Okay. Thank you. Keyword dash density. I'm putting it in the chat for you guys. Okay. Uh, and yeah, and the link, the link guys, I put in the chat as well for iBoostify.com forward slash LinkedIn. So you've got that. Um, uh, Tim says, I'm in. So great. Thanks, Tim. Uh, Nadine says, thank you. This is awesome. Uh, do we have to have paid account? Um, uh, Lester is in. Okay, let's see. My buddy has 7,000. I'm trying to, trying to read this one. This is a big one. From, um, um, from Les. Uh, we've been... Okay. My buddy has 7,000 HHPs on LinkedIn and we've been sending them in mail one at a time, good Lord, to invite them into our LinkedIn group and in four months we have only 225 people. I want to invite lots at one time to get them to a webinar. Help. I don't really do one-on-one. -on -one. I do help them get done for you programs to help them automate massive, uh, passive extra income in little time. Can you see just how to get them into my autoresponder so I can get more involved? Okay. Wow, that was a lot. Yeah, um, yeah I know. So I didn't, I, I didn't quite catch what is what is HHP. He has seven thousand HHP. I was wondering the same thing. What so what is what's an HHP, Les? Let's see, is she still here? Let me scroll. Uh, she's not here, so she can't answer the question. Okay. Well, we can't answer that question then. <laughs> um, I know. Yeah, I'm, I, 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 I'm I know, not quite sure. I know who it is, but she pulled off. So. Um, okay, I think we've got them. Anybody else have any questions? And by the way, for those of you that are joining us, just pop in the chat uh, and let me know that you're in because I don't see things. So I see, I, I see Mary Lou is in. Congratulations. Uh, she says she's in. Um, uh, Robert says he's in. Congratulations. Good. You're gonna, you guys are going to love this. Awesome. Yeah, it's going to be well, great. Well, one of the qu I, I do know, Ken, uh, a yeah. couple questions I get, I do hear uh, a, a bunch of times is, mm. How does the live Q and A sessions work? Because I know people really appreciate, you know, getting the feedback and and having access to me. Uh, and so, how that works is you you can get access to the course immediately. So if you were to log in today or or go to the iBoostify.com/slash/LinkedIn um, URL, and you could get immediate access and start working through the modules. And then what'll happen is if you opt in for the VIP uh, portion, the 997 one, then you'll be able to um, we'll update you actually a couple of times a year when you can jump in to 
start the uh, the eight. It's a it's a series of eight. So it's eight weekly live group coaching calls where you can ask me your questions um, and ask me to review. You know whatever it is you review, and we do a lot of strategy work in there. You know too. So it's not even just oh where where do I find this? You know and where do I click for that? I mean all that stuff about navigation and where's what. That's all in the the video. Right, the video training, but the Q and A is awesome for strategy, you know. And just to give you a, a little quick ex example, I mean, one of my guys um, who went through, uh, I think he was in last year's course. He does this; mod he's a health coach, for a very specific modality where he um, he works with people who uh, to recover from post traumatic stress disorder, right? And he was having such a hard time uh, trying to market this, and he was really good at what he did, but he just couldn't get the word out. You know, he couldn't get that out. Um, so we developed a very specific strategy for him. I, I like to call it a sales funnel to help him get known as the go-to expert within his strategic referral community, which for, in his case were the medical doctors. And he didn't even think of that. You know, he didn't think that he had the uh, the credibility, you know, because he wasn't a doctor. But anyway, it worked really well where uh, he was able to uh, get into that group of medical doctors who also work with that. So the point of the point of me sharing that is that the live Q and A calls are a really uh, transformative hour because we talk strategy. You know, and uh, you know, you might be using the wrong sequence in your business process. It's not we don't talk just you know LinkedIn bells and whistles. We we talk how to leverage, how to use them to to to, to work a or uh, to work a better strategy, I should say. So anyway, just want to throw that in there. That's awesome. <laughs> well, well, it's it's fantastic stuff. I mean, it's 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 everybody needs to be on on this. I mean, just just no question. Um, the, I mean, this this is 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 just life changing, and for the for the inexpensive tuition for what this is, I mean, every single one of you needs to be doing it. So it looks like uh, we've got quite a few people that have said yes, I'm in. So this is uh, this is awesome, um, and I know we're we're a little bit over what we plan to do for time. So I want to thank you, Yoon, Ken, and everybody. Uh, just fantastic. Um, and like I said, LinkedIn is one of those things that most people don't think to to use. Uh, discount it, and boy, oh boy, that's the last thing you want to do. You want to use it as as often as you can because it's better quality people with less less work that you have to do when you when you do it right. So, follow it, what Yuna is suggesting, put it into action, and act immediately. And listen to her in her trainings because she know she knows, as you can tell, she knows her stuff. So, with that said, Yoon, thank you so much for being with us today. I really appreciate that. Everybody, thank you so much. Awesome. You guys are awesome, and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.